you're very brave to be here today. So thank you so much uh, for being here and talking about this. So people understand, tell me what a day in your life was like. What time did you wake up? Um, that actually depends on if we actually got sleep. Sandy or Jeff would like just barge into the room and then if we got caught sleeping, we'd get punished. So yeah. you were not supposed to sleep? No, like they didn't want us sleeping, I guess. Cause either we had to clean up our room because they throw the dresser drawers all over the ground, empty it, everything would be like all over the place pretty much. Mm -hmm. And how many hours a day were you in this room? Um, all day except for to go downstairs, eat like what they gave us. What did they feed you? Uh, shortening, spices, spinach. And when you say shortening, what, what, what do you mean? Like grease, flat out grease that comes in like containers and stuff. They would just give it to you to eat? They'd like try to force us to eat it along with the spinach, saying that it would actually get us like fatter. If the food was moldy or rotten, would you eat it anyway? I'd be forced to eat it. What they fed us, it wasn't decent food to eat. If we didn't swallow it, we'd, she'd add spices straight to our mouths. Like what kind of spices? Um, pizza spice, pretty much almost like every spice, like lemon pepper, steak seasoning. Just dump it in your mouth? Either that or a lot in our bowl, like just pile it up in our bowls too. And then you had to eat it? Yeah. Your hair started falling out. D did you notice that you were really emaciated? Did you notice you were really skinny? Like, I knew something was wrong. Like, I wasn't like a normal kid. And then the fact that nobody did anything to help. I mean, people tried, like Tina and Mike. Um, they tried to get us out um, multiple times. But um, the fact that the state didn't help, um, that's kind of hard to deal with still. How often would you be beaten with this board? If not daily, almost every other day. And um, when you would get beaten with the board, there was dried blood on the end of that board. Was that your blood? Um, yeah, pretty much. You said you took the beatings for your brothers sometimes. Seems how I was the oldest in the house, like I felt like it was right to do. Did y'all support each other, the kids? My brother Ian would always <laughs> let us out of the room. He'd, un um, he'd turn off the alarm. Um, and then we put a hole through the through a wall so they could pass food through. Did Ian give you food? Yeah, a lot of times because um, they started putting up cameras in the house. Are you and Ian friends now? Yeah. It's not painful to see him? It's not a reminder of what happened? It's, it's okay to see him? It sort of is um, a reminder, but like I know I'll get over it eventually. Mm -hmm. 